morning, it's Hot Seat. I'm Scott Mitchell, and this lady needs no introduction to folks who've watched us for many years. Leslie Osborne, Hello. Oklahoma Labor Commissioner, good to have you in. It's nice to be back. We generally talk a couple of times a year, but usually around fair time, mm -hmm. because people go, is it safe? We've got the State Department of Health out there watching the food. We've got you folks out there riding, uh, watching the rides. I mean, how, how safe can Oklahomans feel with what goes on in uh, like the, the Midway and the, the rides there? I feel very good about it. And you know, there's only 30 states that do inspections of rides. We are one of those that has a statutory obligation to check every ride in the state at least once a year. Well, so you us, we need to know about the other 20 so we don't get <laughs> <laughs> kind of concerned about exactly. that. But another story for another time. Right, but in those 30, there's a markedly different number in statistics of people that are not injured. Uh, and then at the state fair, we have a triple level of protection, I like to say, so it's even better. So we're out there inspecting every ride from when they arrive and they're unloading them off the semi-trailer. Um, the Wade shows have done this for 28 years. This is their 28th year providing all the rides for the show. They have their own independent people that check as well as the state fair. So you have a triple level of protection. But just so you'll know, if you go to the Garfield County Fair, the Garvin County Fair, whatever it is, we also go out every time those carnivals set up so that there's somebody there to make sure that everything is put together properly by manufacturer specs. Okay, so the bottom line is the rides are safe. They are safe. Now, the main thing that we notice the problem with is when a parent will even encourage or say, you know, stand on your tiptoes so you can get on that ride. Guys, there's a reason. There is a reason that you have those, and that's for the safety of the child, where the seatbelt comes across, how things fit. Just follow what the rules are, and if you do that with what we're doing to make sure the mechanics are safe, you should be able to have a nice, healthy state fair. Let's take just about a minute about other things in Oklahoma. Workplace safety. We used to not be a, a safe place many, many years ago. How is safety for workplace in Oklahoma? Workplaces in Oklahoma. So once again, and I can be kind of hard, even on uh, all of us in politics, that we don't do a lot of things right that we talk a lot about what we do and it's not real. What is real is that we're also one of seven states in the nation that takes advantage of a federal grant that will actually, where we can go out and provide workplace training for any business in Oklahoma. That's to make sure we're keeping employees safe. If you're a big business like Boeing, you can afford a fleet of safety consultants. If you're a small burgeoning business, you may not be able to afford that. We'll take OSHA trained employees out for free to any business that invites us in and draw a safety plan, train your employees and make sure that you're keeping your employees safe. Because of that, we have one of the lowest rates in the nation of people being injured on the job. That's great news. And for people that want to know how to get in with the uh, Department of Labor, here's a website that you can go to. You can learn more about that, ok.gov slash labor. Yep. I want to take just a moment because you know what's happening in this country. is such deep division. You make a habit in your speeches to talk about civility. Tell us what we need to know and what's on your heart. So about once a week, I give a speech at a Rotary or Chamber somewhere across the state talking about what the State Department of Labor does. But I've also started adding at the end talking about civility because we're in a very ugly, divided, polarized place. I blame the 24-hour news cycle on the left and the right. I blame uh, social media. I blame people not having critical thinking skills as far as looking at what you're sharing and reading and posting, but we've got to get away from that division because from my years in the legislature, I can tell you that there's about 60 or 70 percent of Oklahomans that really just want good schools, good roads and bridges, a safe place to live, and they really don't want to hear what the squeaky wheels of the far left and far right are doing to divide us and just making us uglier. And it's something we've all got to work on and take some accountability for ourselves. Thanks for those kind words. You bet. Commissioner Leslie Osborne, thanks for being with us today. You bet. Thank you. See you this again at news9.com slash your vote counts and follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks.